are you looking to record two screens, not just one, two, at once inside of OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, or Stream Elements? If so, stay tuned because that's what we're going to be talking about today. Roll that intro. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to record two screens at once inside of OBS Studio, Streamlabs, or Stream Elements. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to just do one screen, you can do two, you can do three, you can do four, however many your computer can handle. We'll talk about that in just a second. And it doesn't just have to be your monitor. It could be your monitor, it could be a video, it could be your webcam. You could really get creative with this and this could help you out in post-production as something else we'll actually talk about later in the video. So hopefully there'll be time stamps down below so you can jump around and see what you need to see. So let's jump over to the computer. All right, so now that we're over at the computer, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what we are doing because it sounds like magic. It sounds like some voodoo or some craps going on and it, it's not, it's nothing crazy. It is just essentially doing something that you may have been able to do all along inside OBS. Just a lot of people didn't think about it. And actually, I wanna say a big shout out to my cousin because he's the one that told me about this. And he said, yeah, I just thought to do this and I can record my webcam at full 1080p and my monitor at 1080p. And I was like, that's a great idea for a video. Can we go ahead and make a video about it? And he's like, yeah, man. So um, yeah, you can record two monitors at once um, or you could record your webcam at full 1080p um, in your monitor and maybe two monitors or you could even scale it up to three, four, however many your computer can handle. So with that being said, and since I'm just giving some basic resolutions and how to do it for up to three monitors on 1080p and 720p, I just want to go ahead and state I'm not going to be giving out bit rates or recommendations for bit rates. Um, what I would suggest is whatever it recommends for 1080p, if you do two monitors, double it. Three, triple it. 720p, the exact same thing. Try it out, see if your computer can handle it. And if it can, uh, you're good. And maybe see if the quality looks pretty good for you. But this is a super awesome way to um, essentially go ahead and get more out of OBS. So yeah, what we're gonna be doing is just kind of briefly explaining what resolution is. So a 1080p video inside of OBS, this is gonna be 1920 width by a height of 1080. And what we're essentially gonna be doing is extending the width by two for two monitors. So that's gonna be 3,840 by 1080. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that graphic off the screen, which is a really nice top of the line graphic notepad. Um, and what we're going to be doing is going to settings and we're going to go to video and we're going to just be changing this to 3840. So 3840. Um, I put an eight at the very beginning and let's check and make sure that was right. That says 3840. Okay. My math's not awful. So you'll want to make sure that if you're doing two, you just plug in the resolutions that I mentioned into the base canvas resolution. And I'll just leave that up there one more time for you guys. So figure out if you want to do 720p or 1080p and how many monitors you want to try with. And then the next thing we want to do is make sure that our output scaled resolution is set to what we want to use. So we're going to be doing two monitors. So we're going to make sure it's set to the exact same as base canvas resolution. And then we'll click apply. So as you can see here, it essentially has the exact same width to fit two 1080p webcams in or a monitor. So what I actually do is have is a monitor source already below this that's 1080p and you can see if i enable it and drag it out to the side boom we now have two monitors so if you needed to let's just say add another monitor you would go to display capture and let's just add a different monitor so we'll go ahead and we'll select um yeah let's just get some inception going on here we'll just leave this monitor that i'm recording on see so yeah you can see what's going on here right now so that is how you do two monitors for the sake of not being confused and seeing two or 50 instances of OBS. I'm going to be leaving it with the webcam and a monitor. So now that we've got this, all you got to do is then go into your settings, go to output and then your recording and make sure that this is not set to rescale output because if it's set to rescale output in your recording, it might rescale this to 1080p and what's going to happen is it's going to look super smushed because it's going to take this ultra wide format and it's just going to 
press it together. And that's gonna look weird. So make sure that that's not selected. Um, do your audio tracks however you do. I'm gonna uncheck that and just record one for this. Um, if you're interested on multi-track audio recording, there should be a video linked up there, up above. And yeah, so go ahead, set your bit rate. Like I said, I'm not giving any recommendations for this because it could be all over the board depending on your computer and how many monitors you wanna do. So we're gonna go ahead and click apply and then okay. And it's as simple as pressing start recording. And you'll go ahead and you'll record, you'll talk about stuff. You could, let's just say, move the notepad over to the other computer and you can see that it's now on that monitor and we can talk about stuff, blah, blah, blah. And what we're essentially gonna do now is in this recording in just a second and then take this over into our editing program and then crop down the left side so it's its own, you know, 19 or 16 by nine uh, video feed. And then we're gonna do the same with the right. We're just gonna duplicate it again and then crop it for the right side. So that's super easy to do in Adobe Premiere and it can be done in pretty much all the big editing programs. It just might vary just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording and jump into Adobe Premiere. So now that we're in Adobe Premiere, I'm gonna show you guys how to essentially import this and set up the sequence to make sure it's not gonna be ultra wide and then crop them down and see how you can have two separate independent video feeds. That's what's super cool. You maintain the resolution that your devices are captured at and it's amazing. It's really good for post-production if you guys do any kind of video games and you wanna make sure that your webcam is really large but doesn't have crappy resolution or if you do need to record two screens at once and you maybe need to show stuff simultaneously, maybe make one screen a little bit smaller in the corner. Just a lot of cool stuff in post-production. So first, what we need to do is we need to create a new sequence inside of Premiere um, because if we just drag this stuff in and I'm gonna set it to 1080p and the main problem you can have is if you just bring the media straight in, uh, it might set a sequence that is this 32 by nine resolution. And that is not going to play well with pretty much any video streaming platform out there that you might want to upload this content to, or at least watch back. It would probably be really difficult to watch back. So now that we've got this video file in there, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it into the timeline and we want to keep the existing settings. We don't wanna change it because if we change it, it's gonna put that to 32 by nine, which is what I just said we don't want. So what we're gonna do is drag this in and you can see on the right hand side, this is the full width or height of 1080p. And this is actually being split right down the middle and the other half is actually off the screen for both of these. So you can see that there. So we did capture all that. Uh, just press Control Z to reset that. And what we're gonna do now is go to our effects. And we are going to go down to video effects and transform and then crop. And we're just gonna drag it right onto our video. And now that we've got it on our video, this is what I like about it. It's super simple the way it is. So. All you have to do if you want just say the desktop is bring the left crop in all the way to 50 because it's literally split right down the middle. You set that to 50, you're perfect. Um, the only thing you will have problems with most likely is trying to center this again. And I have not tested this, so let's go ahead and undo that. I feel like this is gonna be a common value, probably zero. Um, and it is, so that is super easy. Um, so yeah, you could literally just set that to zero on the positioning on this value and just set your crop to 50% on the left-hand side. And then you will essentially have your left or your right-hand side uh, video feed centered inside of here. So now if you play this back, it looks just like you only recorded your monitor. And that's super cool, but you might be saying, hey dude, I also want to get um, that nice webcam footage at 1080p resolution as well. So let's just go ahead and drag this back in again and then bring our crop down on this and we'll move the timeline over. And we're just gonna do the opposite. We're gonna set the right crop to 50 now. And then we do need to move this over. And actually now that I think about it, I think you could just set that to 1080 um, or maybe 1920. Yeah, 1920, and that's gonna go ahead and center that as well. So we can see this webcam is now at 1080p and our desktop is at 1080p as well. So 
one thing I would suggest in your editing program is to remove audio from one of those clips, especially if you want to like throw your webcam over the top. And then we can see that we can still adjust our webcam if we wanted to scale it down a little bit, but we can now move the webcam anywhere inside of this recording in post-production in case we don't want to cover up something that's important. So that is super neat. Or I can press control Z a few times, set it back to where it's at. And we could do, we could act like this is the intro and we can leave this here. And then we can say, well, we want to show our screen through this time. And all we got to do is remove this and we can now jump straight over there back. And this is all in sync. And that is what is super neat about all of this. And I hope this is helpful for you guys as well. And if it is, be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. So yeah, guys, it's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy that like button, get subscribed if you aren't already, and turn on notifications while you're down there as well. Also, if you guys want to go ahead and support the channel financially, you can go ahead and join our YouTube members group. You get early access to videos, discounts on merch, and a bunch of other cool features such as polls and other things that we plan on doing here in the near future as well. There should be patrons on the screen right now. Big thanks to you guys for supporting How To Tech. And if you guys aren't a member of our community Discord as well, go ahead and check it out. It'll be in the link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video.